pillbug is a mainly defensive piece and it should be placed near or close as possible to your queen. But in some situation you can use the pillbug offensively and that leads often to very interesting and spectacular games. It's also risky but sometimes might be worth it. I'll show you now three games where the pillbug was used offensively and we'll see the interesting option that this brings to the game. Um, let's start. Played um, the World Cup last year. Um, white seems um, attacking uh, the black queen and uh, the white beetle is ready to cover the queen um, but the black beetle here is ready to uh, recover as well. Uh, at this point, black has got two free ants, and the most um, common move would probably be just placing the pill bug uh, here next to your queen in an anti spawn fashion in order to um, keep your queen safe from the uh, black ants. But uh, instead, uh, white decide here to play the following move placing the pill bug in an aggressive spot. So clearly this is risky because black could just um, choke the queen and now white doesn't have many space to place the defensive pieces. The only spawn points available is this one. And the pill bug is very far from the queen so clearly cannot be used defensively. But at the same time the pill bug also um, adds some options um, to the game. For instance, um, after covering the queen, the mosquito next to pill bug can be used to um, throw the pill bug in um, spaces where it could not be, um, it could not access otherwise. Or the pill bug could be moved here, and uh, these new spawn points can be used for white uh, to throw more pieces uh, into this uh, kill spots. And not only the pill bug, but also the mosquito can act as a pill bug. At the same time, um, the pill bug cannot be stopped from taking this kill space. Um, you can see if the ant um, um, pins the, the pill bug, um, white could just cover and now um, there are two options for black. If really black doesn't want the pill bug to throw the, the ant in here, then it has to be anchored somehow, for example with a beetle or with a, with a spider. Um, but if this happens, then white can just uh, cover the pill bug. This of course doesn't mean that white has a winning advantage, but um, it's a quite interesting um, idea. And uh, um, surely black has to be careful because white is playing very offensively. Um, if black um, if black doesn't want to uh, anchor the ant and decide for, to go for the most um, um, most natural move covering the beetle, at that point then white can just throw the ant in and uh, the next move will move the pill bug uh, on the side in order to pin the ant into the kill spot, which is also another interesting option. In the second game played uh, during the Fair Play Cup, the team tournament um, earlier this year, I played against uh, uh, JIB and um, he decided to go unexpectedly for a very aggressive attack. Normally here white would play something like this, just playing the ant game, keeping the opponent's ant pinned, um, or if you want to play safely, just placing the pill bug here. Why not? But instead, my opponent decided to go for a quite surprising pill bug here. So um, the pill bug clearly cannot be used to defend anymore, but it would be very useful um, in the attack. Um, the game um, went on this way. I pinned the ant, the mosquito uh, pushed the pillbug. Well, the pillbug just moved in, in here actually. Um, I used my beetle to defend, um, envisioning that um, the white beetle here would give mosquito uh, beetle power. And uh, after this and this move, I'll show you how I managed to um, defend successfully. After this move, um, my idea was to place a pillbug here. Um, in this case, the pillbug is a defensive pillbug, also normally called proximity pillbug, because it's not right next to my queen, but it controls two kill spots of um, my position, of my queen. And uh, um, 
So in this position, I start to feel a bit more safe, but white attack is still very dangerous and you gotta be careful. Probably a safer move here would have been this. Um, so that uh, if black pins the beetle here, then this space is not available anymore for my defensive pill bug. And now white can uh, definitely um, cover the queen and has got a direct drop in here. Um, this was another way to continue for white, probably more promising. And uh, there are uh, still options of placing, for example, um, a spider here next to the pill bug. Let's say, let's say I, I keep um, playing this to counter attack. Um, the pill bug here can just place a spider into a kill spot that would not normally uh, be able to go into because of the spider movement. So the pill bug gives you like extra attacking option. Here instead there is a new position, a game I played um, against Epic Kiwi in the uh, quarterfinals of the World Cup this year. Um, I'm playing black and um, I only have one beetle left and I haven't qualified for the victory yet. So I haven't neutralized the white pill bug yet. Um, since white has got um, a white ant here, um, if I place a beetle straight away, then they it would be pinned. Um, I don't have any safe pocket where to place my beetle. But um, there is an extra option that was quite powerful um, and quite unexpected, I think. Oh, I played the beetle in this position so that when the white ant pins my beetle, then I have this strong idea. The pill bug is in a weird position here. Um, it's not really attacking the queen straight away, but the idea is that the next move, it will be able to move into this space and create this ring. And why it doesn't have any option to stop the black beetle from getting into, um, into this kill spot and covering the queen, finally qualifying for the win. So white instead decided to, place, to play this move in order to um, get the, the hopper in here and free the ant. Um, but after pinning the hopper, um, white doesn't have um, actually many options to attack. Um, and my attack is a bit um, is a bit quicker. And uh, notice that I actually don't need the pill bug immediately to, to defend. So my pill bug um, here is actually quite placed. This nice ring works because the queen and the ladybug are both in a bidirectional pin. So using the pill bug also to create rings is a good idea sometimes. The game went on this way. I decided to put my beetle away in order to um, in order to cover then the ant and then the queen. Um, and then later on I won I won the game. So I hope you enjoyed the video and you found some of these ideas um, interesting and you use your pill bug offensively in your games as well. It's risky but it's also pretty fun and uh, good luck with your games.